So here was our final analysis. Furman, you guys think you saw something, and based on what you're describing, I think you did see the target, but you were way off about where in the field it was. However, you operated the aircraft safely and um, efficiently, and you brought it home on time, so we are giving you the first place out of this round. So congratulations, guys, well done. And then three chicks, a professor and a drone, we're giving you guys the second place marks, because well, you didn't make it far. What you did, you did well. And I'm afraid, Grady, we've got to give you third place in the podium this time because of that safety violation off the deck. But, but very nice job for all the teams. What we're going to do now is we're going to, this wasn't on the schedule, but we're going to go ahead and take a lunch break because it's about time for that. And then we'll come back and do the third exercise. All right, team, so welcome to the fourth exercise. This is going to be our search and rescue exercise. So here's our mission briefing. A man was last seen walking in the hills immediately behind you there. And so we want you to use your drones in order to go out there and find him. We don't think he's too far out, so somewhere pretty close at hand there. Your judgment criteria for this exercise are gonna of course be safety first and foremost, a successful identification of the target, the total elapsed time for the exercise, and effective air crew communication. Well, I was thinking in the moment that we were going to have a good flight out, get really high up in the air, and make sure that we had a great view of the uh, surrounding area. <laughs> now, they're using more altitude here, which I think is to their advantage. We had flown really far out, and I thought we were really close. See anything so far? No, keep going all the way back to the uh, White Tower. I think we should get closer to us, honestly. I think it's really yeah, cool. no, we're, I'm losing signal as well. Now, one thing you have to say is they are seem to be going through a more systematic search this time. Clockwise, uh, stopped, and move forward. I see a large orange thing. Yeah, that's it. Found it. Is, is, are, are, you, are you sure you're not looking at the cameraman? I didn't believe him. We're right above it, I promise you. Unless the cameraman is neither standing, is also wearing pink pants, and is hiding behind the rocks. Okay. I think that's it. Okay, so yeah, like so come home. Land. Bravo! Nice landing. Good job, guys. With the fire department, I'm here to address your guy. Can you help me find him? Okay. When the fireman came up to me and uh, asked me to point out where the actual victim was, I wasn't entirely sure. I, I knew where the drone was, and so I kind of ran in the general direction. We got him! Woohoo! 8:36. <laughs> His legs came off! <laughs> he must have been injured during his hike, that's why he couldn't return. Taking off. Going into the search and rescue exercise, we had discussed different strategies beforehand. We had originally come up with the idea for a grid like normal search and rescues are done. Yeah, let's start right, work our way idea. left. Good idea work out a grid. Although it was a good idea at first, it wasn't easy to execute. I think we should proceed uh, to the left a little bit. It's really hard to fly in a straight line, especially when you're going across your vision. When I was looking through the goggles when we were up in the air, I initially saw the cameraman, and I think I've, I might have a potential potential visual. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're looking at the cameraman? Um, <laughs> is that the cameraman? So that took a little shot to my spirits there. <laughs> Anything? Nothing so far. And then we saw behind the rocks um, the guy lying lying down. I think I have positive identification. Fantastic. All right, okay. I turn to the left. 215. Yeah. It was very clear that that was the target. Yep, coming back. Yeah, 245. 
when they committed to returning. Nicely done, nicely done, guys. Good job. So you find him? Outstanding. Oh, oh, hang on a second. When the firefighter came up, I thought we had done something wrong safety-wise. I thought we had set a fire somehow. Maybe he saw something and decided to come bust us for it. The we're in trouble feeling hit me. And then he told us to take him to where the hiker was. All right, got it. Very nicely done, guys. Very nicely done. Brian flew the craft and helped us determine that it's probably not operator error. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and um, so we were able to borrow another craft and the craft responded. We went up higher this time to get a higher field of view and luckily the camera now is pointing down which is probably a good idea when you're <laughs> looking for something straight down. Good division of labor there. So we ran across the ravine and I thought I saw something there so we dropped down and now it's a little blob there and wasn't quite sure if it was what we were looking for, so we kept dropping down, dropping down. There's a little ravine which you may see there, and I see something, oh, that's got to be it. Clear, I could see the legs and the arm pointing out in one direction. It was a dead body. It was a DB. <laughs> okay, you want to come back? Stays on. Aircraft yeah. Oh, hang on a second there. Hang on a second. We got something happening here. Uh, lead me to where the person oh. oh. Can we okay. shut the battery off first? Today. It's up to you guys. How do you I'll solve this problem? Shut the okay. battery off first so this is safe. Let's, let's hang on just a second. You. If you'll wait right here. Perfect. Debbie couldn't see the body because she had no direct line of sight. It was down over the, the little rise there and clearly at the bottom of the ravine. So I had a rough idea where it was in relationship to that ravine. So we, once the firefighter came, we were able to walk up the ravine and locate it right away. Got it. Come on back. I might miss that one. Yeah. <laughs> we're leading, leading right to it. Seven minutes, 30 seconds, really not bad. Well, I think all three teams did very well. Um, the, all of the Grady 3 team had a little more safety issues than the others. I mean, they, um, they forgot to turn it off and then bring it back to the cold table hot. Yep. yep. It was probably a major safety issue. The distraction got them, I think. I, the I think so. They, they just dropped what they were doing and went and did their thing, but didn't turn it off first. Yeah. Taking off. It was a good takeoff at first, and I thought it was going well. Then the drone just kind of went straight up into the air. Okay, that's out of control. The drone started going off for the horizon.